I'm guessing kilometers per hour. And try it and the drivers see responsible maneuver and miraculously in that we Okay, we gotta, we gotta merge over. Slow it down. Whoa, 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 what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, slow it down. Whoa, 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 what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, yeah. No one. <sighs> Uncommon thing. You know, we're trying to pass. Oh yeah, yeah. His head is on the ground. That's why the camera's like cool. that. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Hey, he broke the mirror. He broke the mirror. Not very nice. Not very nice. Прилетел. Толхал. Смотрите. All right. Колесо. So somebody was making an illegal U-turn to the left. Now this is gonna be like a lane filtering problem with a little bit of situational awareness and a braking issue. So we gotta watch out for something like that. So we're gonna come around this corner. We're doing our thing. Confident. Now, you see that uh, arrow right there on the bottom? So we have to merge into the next lane. But yeah, you know, let's go ahead and pass this vehicle because I don't wanna be behind a vehicle like this where you're gonna get some rocks, all right? So let's go ahead and move forward a little bit. Right, and the driver's irresponsible. All right, but you see right through here, we have an issue with lots of people kind of stacked up. So that means our total stopping distance is starting to decrease if we're not already doing what we're supposed to be doing. So right here, going to orange stage, start rolling off that throttle and then maybe even apply some progressive brake pressure. Now, the next thing is we got to start planning our ride. So let's position ourselves for safety. Okay, so what we're going to be doing in this situation, we found a gap. We want to do something. We want to get through here. Now, I don't know if it's legal to lane filter in this country. I can't even read that because I, well, I can't read. But the thing is, we wanted to go through here. All right, so we're passing on the left. Big, long stack of vehicles. And who knows, maybe it's somebody wants to go into this lane doing an illegal U-turn because they're just tired of waiting, right? You never know, but that's why we need to go a little bit slower. All right, we go a little bit slower, find escape paths, not go too fast around here. Now he's covering his hands, or he's covering his brakes over there, so he is in orange stage. Scratches. But we're going 73 kilometers per hour. So we're gonna go through here. Oh can't can't do anything about this, going six, nice. We're going 69 uh, kilometers per hour. We see the tires already turning over here. So you know this person's gonna go into over here. Now, where is our escape path? Where is it? Where's the escape path here? We don't get one. This is all we have. We have this right here blocking us. And then we got only this spot to really aim for. This person's gonna take away this spot. We're screwed. We're absolutely screwed. Now, is this something that we could have prevented? Maybe. But what's gonna be the thing that we need definitely right here? What do we need in this situation? We need to have gear. We need to have gear to mitigate some of these issues. You know, being a smart rider require and utilizing personal protective equipment. And this is why, because you wouldn't have been able to stop in time. He is trying to swerve. Maybe you could have swerved in time, but there just was not enough room to really do a red stage maneuver. So we're gonna collide. But look at the gear he's got. He's got a full face helmet. It looks like he's got gloves. Uh, he's got a jacket. Let's go ahead and see what happens when he collides. So we got a jacket here, doing pretty good. Now these look like moto jeans. Because I had some just like that. I had speed and strength uh, motorcycle jeans. So that could be motorcycle jeans. There he is. Yeah, pretty bad situation. Let's move forward a little bit. There's the damage. We got a little view in the in the mirror. Okay, he's got gear. He's got gear. And there's the bike. So the bike can be replaced. You can't. All right. Here we go. Uh, Ram mount. Lost his phone. You know, if the rock. Phone. Anyways, we got an intersection right there. You saw that? You saw the T intersection? They're just going through the intersection. The deer are just kind of, yeah, it wasn't a big deal. Just kidding. Uh, the intersection was right there. This is the intersection. So the T intersection that I was talking about. So it's a 35 mile an hour zone and we're going 53. Maybe just went from 50 to 35 and we're now gonna start slowing down. T intersection sign right there. That's gonna let you know that there's gonna be a possible path to travel violation. It's a crest of the hill. So you can't see very far away. His phone is back there because it fell out of his ram mount. And there, now we can see, you see how it opened up the view? And as soon as he sees a little bit of deer on the left, it looks like a, a bunch of pixels right now, but he saw it. And you can see his right hand, take a look at his right hand. So he witnesses it, witnesses. He perceives it right here, he perceives, he's gonna start reacting. We're going 49 right now. He's gonna start squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. So you see how the camera moved up forward? What that's happening is, is his body movement is shifting to the front tires, shifting up. 
because of the brake pressure. And he's gonna squeeze, 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 squeeze. We see the deer doing this. We're going 47. Okay, it's gonna adjust 44 now. So we're gonna get a little bit further, 41. And then we're gonna get a little bit further, 37. And I wanna get to the point right where that we would have hit the deer if we didn't do anything. So let's see what the speed is. I think that's a two. I think there's a two involved there. 20 something. So you went from 50 to 20 something. Really good braking. You don't have to stop. But imagine going 50. You think we would have collided? You think it would have been the right amount of speed, the right direction, right intersection, all that stuff? If we were going 50, you didn't stop, you didn't slow down, and just kept going. I think it would have plowed into them. So the fact that he was situationally aware, plus look, he's got good gear on. Got, got good gear on. Situationally aware, great progressive brake pressure. He's acquiring, utilizing, and his personal protective equipment. We don't have to rescue, he's teaching us. This is a smart rider. This is this a, a smart rider outside of this part right here. But he's very smart. I love it. This is a good example of progressive brake pressure with an unknown hazard. And his name is Daniel. I love it. Quick shout out to Progressive for sponsoring this video. You see in the background, it's only going to take me about three minutes to get a quote. And that is what I want you guys to go do. Being a smart rider means that you are prepped and ready for anything. And crashing can be a real life possibility. So make sure you have some insurance. You can take care of your bike, take care of anything else. Maybe even take care of yourself. Go ahead and get a quote. Super easy. Use the link in the description. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Filmora 9. Oh, wait, no, it's Yannick. <laughs> oh, it is a low side. Looks like there's something in the road. Oh. What is all that? It's just terrible patch. Oh, it's a tar snake. It's a giant tar snake. Intercom failed. Inter later. Intercom failed. Oh. All right, intercom failed. So he hit the left side of the, the head. Probably damaged the, the cardo pack talk. All right, so we're going to be turning. So we're going to turn through here. We're gonna turn through here and look at the road. It's pretty bad, huh? So let's not make it a very sharp turn. Look how bad that road is. And we're gonna hit a bump. Let's go back just a little bit so we can see it in full speed again. There's the bump, but we haven't fallen yet. We haven't fallen yet. So what is really happening here? A little bit too much acceleration over paint lines. Looks like it's a little bit wet. It's just multiple factors. So when it's raining out and there's a bunch of paint, there's a bunch of tar snakes, bad road service, what you should be doing is just going over it nice and smoothly, as upright as possible. No jerky movements, no crazy throttle response, no crazy braking. You want to go over it nice and smooth. No crazy turning because that when you do really uh, hard acceleration, really hard braking, hard turning with low traction, remember all three of those things need traction. If we have low traction, we're going we're gonna to use too much and we're going we're gonna to dump the bike. And that's what happened here. We low sided. We probably hit a tar snake, hit some of these smooth looking surfaces, hit the paint, rain, whatever it is. Jay, do I listen to music when I ride? Yes, I do. I do. But I, I, I use it as background noise. I prefer to have the music than just, you know, dulled wind noise. All right. So Kermit Muppet Lord, we're in neutral. Okay, hanging out in neutral. That's fine. You do you. That way you don't, you know, uh, exhaust your left hand from holding it in all day. Um, we're gonna go here. Whoa, what you doing? Ooh, so we made a de quick decision to break and we realized he wasn't stopping and I think he let go of the brakes and applied some throttle to get himself out of there. He did a good job there. Line of sight issue right here because of the pillars. We're gonna get going when it's green. We can't see anything. We barely, look, you can see right next to Motostar's face that car, that truck is still moving. This is a very dangerous intersection. It is uh, poorly designed for what it is. I mean, I probably can't do much about it, but it's to me, it's just poorly designed. So when I see something like this, it's going to put me on edge. So you see this truck right here. He looks up at it. It's like, what are you doing? You're supposed to stop. You're supposed to stop. And we start to apply the brakes at this point. Now we're still in the trajectory. If this was a 90 degree intersection, it was just like a T intersection. Yes, that's my intersection. That person would have just been going this way. And we could have just applied the brakes and stopped right there, right? Well, in this situation, what's happening here, it's like this turn, and then it's like doing that. So when we go and we try to stop, we're still, we're gonna be like in his path because he's coming at an angle towards us. It's pretty scary, not much we can do. He did a good job here. So let's go back and watch it in real time. 
So he tried to apply the brakes, realized he couldn't brake in time, so he had to accelerate to an escape path. He had to accelerate through that escape path. He swerved a little bit to the left, because you notice how it was right on the line at the beginning. So he was right on the line, applied the brakes, nope, swerve and accelerate. He had to do it, he did it quickly. This is a smart rider right here. Good situation awareness and fundamental skills. So we're on the line, nope, not gonna work, swerve left, and braked and accelerated, almost at the same time. And he just looked down to see if he has anything running down his leg that is brown. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time live. So make sure you check that out. But if you want to check out some other things like this video right here or this video right here, please do so. It supports the channel. Click that like button, by the way. Check into class. Anyways, I'll be seeing you around.